So in this problem here, we're going to find the angle measure between the two diagonals of, of a cube. And the approach I'm going to take this time is I'm going to look use vectors. And I know if I have a cube here, I'm looking for that diagonal there. And that as a vector, well, if it's a cube, I can say it's 1, 1, and then 1. And so this vector, the red vector, will be 1, 1, 1. The dot product of that one here will do a pink vector here. Well, if this is x, y, and z, then I have this point to this point. Let me call this a to b. Point a will be, well, x is 0, y is 1, and z are both 1, 1, and 1. Point B then is simply 1, 0, 0. And so vector AB is going to be, if I go uh, this way, head this way, it's the head minus the tail. So this 1 minus 0 is, zero, is 1. 0 minus 1 and a minus 1 is my vector. And so I can dot that with 1 minus 1 minus 1 is equal to, well, the magnitude of 1, 1, 1, the magnitude of 1, 1, 1, times the magnitude of 1 plus negative 1 squared, I'm going back over here, and plus a negative 1 squared, that times cosine of the angle where this angle between the diagonals is theta. So doing this actual calculation now, dot product that, I get 1 minus 1 minus 1, I'm going to give you a negative 1, equals square root of 3, times the square root of 3, cosine theta, cosine theta equals uh, negative 1 over 3, and I know if I do that, there's going to be two angles, a, a a, an acute angle and an obtuse angle. If I do the obtuse angle, if I do this calculation, I end up with the obtuse angle of 109.5 degrees. And so the acute angle will be 70.5 degrees. It doesn't specify which angle you're looking for, so either will be correct.